morning. Welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. Today's Friday, May 26, 2023. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. There's something strange about the Trey Lance and Jeff Christensen relationship. Let's start at the beginning. At the end of January, Matt Barrow specifically asked Trey Lance if he would work on his throwing motion this offseason. Lance said no, and that he felt like, quote, he was in a really good spot with his mechanics. So fast forward to this offseason where Trey has been working with Jeff Christensen and Patrick Mahomes and made, quote, substantial jumps, according to Matt Barrow's article in The Athletic, in retooling his throwing motion. So what changed and how did it happen? Now that in and of itself isn't necessarily earth shattering. Lance could have changed his mind or whatever. But then Matt Barrows was a guest on Larry Kruger's YouTube show and said that Christensen wouldn't disclose whether the team asked him to work with Lance or whether Trey approached him on his own. Why would Christensen decline to answer that question? No one looks bad either way. So why not just answer, right? If Lance approached him, okay, fine. Trey looks good for working hard. If the team approached Christensen, they look good for finding a quarterback coach that hopefully worked and helped Trey out. And by the way, Trey looks good for going along with it. So that's really weird that he would just decline to answer because who are you protecting in that instance? And then there's this. When Lance was asked this week about arm fatigue, which just seems to have come up again and again and again, here's what he said. Hopefully we can finally kill that this year. Um, I thought uh, going back to my rookie year, same thing uh, I told you guys. Uh, it was it was on me. I didn't do a good good enough job of, of taking care of my body. Um, going through, you know, obviously coming out of school early, started throwing, you know, through that whole year. Um, you know, going into my one game, my last game in college, and then didn't really stop. You know, went all the way through the summer or through the fall, through the winter, through the spring. Got drafted, kept throwing through OTAs. 40 days away, I wanted to be as ready as I could, kept throwing the whole 40 days away, and then going through the whole season, kept throwing again. Uh, So that's just a lot of time um, that I don't know any quarterbacks that would spend that much time uh, throwing. But for me, I wanted to work, and I thought that was the best way to do it. Uh, But obviously learned a lot from that. So yeah, going through my rookie year, dealing with it. uh, Last year, I thought it was in a great spot as well going into it. But yeah, no issues this year. Not a single peep about Jeff Christensen or changing his mechanics in any way. Trey is still sticking to the story that the arm fatigue came from overuse during draft preparation. That's really odd. Trey always deflects credit to other people. He specifically named the physical therapist that helped him rehab his ankle injury. So why no mention of Christensen if he's made all this progress with him? Why no mention of overhauling the mechanics? It's really strange. And look, I'm not saying that there's anything sinister going on here or anything like that. But I do think that there's more to this story than we know right now. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Friday, Ross Tucker recently ranked all 32 head coaches for the 33rdteam.com. Some of the rankings were spot on, but some of them are absolute head scratchers, including some in the NFC West. One thing to watch, a very good 49ers follow on Twitter, Rich Madrid tweeted out some film videos of 49ers offensive line coach Chris Forster teaching and explaining their run scheme to someone, maybe a group of people. I don't know. I have no idea what these are or how Rich got them, but they are super educational. There's too many to tweet out, so you have to go to Twitter to find them yourself. He is at Rich J. Madrid, M-A-D-R-I-D. One thing you may have missed, stop me if you've heard this before. Jimmy Garoppolo is hurt. According to a report from The Athletic, Jimmy G apparently had surgery in March after signing with the Raiders. Why didn't he have surgery before? Apparently, the 49ers told him he'd heal up in a couple months without surgery. Remember, he had the broken foot. But apparently, when Garoppolo was getting his physical with the Raiders, their doctors told him he would need to go under the knife. That's probably the reason his first press conference in Las Vegas was delayed. That doesn't exactly fill you with a ton of confidence about how Brock Purdy's rehab will be handled, does it? That's a wrap on today's 49ers in 5. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Enjoy your Friday, everybody. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. We'll talk on Monday.